Hello everybody, you're here with Claro Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching. <laughs> please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Please ring the bell and let's begin. So today we have a video on Victoria Beckham new items. So one in particular, which is new, 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 is the eyeliner uh, in the color Fig. If you've been with me, you know that I have all of her eyeliners and I really enjoy them. And so, of course, I had to get the new color Fig. Um, and that's what I am actually wearing on my eyes. I also got a new, uh, what do you call this thing? Uh, chiffon, but it is a lid luster. Uh, I feature another color, Mirror Mirror. I have a video on that. And I loved it so much that I ordered the second color. I never tried it. We'll see how it looks. And last, I got another lip tint from her. Oh my God, yeah. So this is Cherry. This is the one I wanted to get from the beginning. And for some reason, I ended up getting uh, Bison. Bison is a little darker, it's a berry. And I really haven't wear it that much because of that dark color. Perhaps now for the winter, it might be perfect. But I always wanted to get this cherry. And since she got a new color, very peachy, I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna get the color cherry, which I've been wanting to. So if you are interested in this, please keep on watching. Now, if you wanna know what I have on my face, I made a video and I'm trying a new foundation. Um, and it's Bounce Foundation. So if you're interested in seeing how this one applies in my review, please check that other video. Uh, and I'm wearing some Chanel on my face and the eye shades that I'm wearing is the new YSL palette. I love, love, love this palette. It's a very neutral, has it all. So what I'm wearing in my eyes right now, because I removed it from the last video, is this bottom row without the, without this color and without the gold. So just this one, two, and three. Very basic. Now I did apply the eyeliner, like I said already. And why did I do that? I just thought it was, since I applied it on the other one, you can check how I made the application. You know how an eyeliner is applied, right? Um, and I actually put one eye with, with the fake color and one eye with the cocoa, which is brown, because I wanted to see the difference between the two. And of course, now I can see here all the colors except fig. <laughs> of course so the first thing I do want to show you and I have them here already swatch of course they had to disappear the one I want but what I wanted to show you this is the new color this is fig this one that's the one I'm wearing on my eyes so what I wanted to point out is that they all it doesn't matter what tint she's using except the lighter colors She's really heading towards a kind of a closer to black, a dark. Of course, when you see these colors, you're like, what are you talking about? It's hard to explain. It's almost like this undertone heading towards that sophisticated or that mystery or that of black. I don't know how else to explain it. This is cocoa, so this is brown, but it has that leading towards what I'm describing. This was the new color, fig, a little purplish. To me, it's like a dark gray. Uh, I mean, a dark grape, you know, from wine. So a very dark Chardonnay sort of thing. Again, leading towards that darker black liner. I know, Does, if I put a line black, you'll say it has nothing to do with each other, but I hope you understand where I'm going with it. Look at this burgundy. So this burgundy, this is called Bordeaux. This one has a lot of red, so does burgundy sort of, but it's still leading. You see a little bit there. It has like a darker, say all three, all of them. Anyhow, that's what I have on my eyes. And in that other video where I had one cocoa brown and the other one in purple, you really could see the difference. Not in like, oh, I see your liner is a different color, but in the tinting, shading, what effect it did on my eye color. I, at least I think so. Maybe you're like, maybe my husband would be like, I don't know what you're talking about. But for my makeup eye, yes, I did see a difference. All right, so blah, blah, blah. I can't find it. I, I find the black one, I found Coca, I found Bird Dogs. Oh, here's the fake. I was like, I, I 
cannot believe that I won't find fig. Thank you. So of course, if you're not familiar, they all come with this little sponge. They're very creamy. So creamy, you can really spread it out to just smooth it or to make it an eye shade, like uh, if you really wanted that kind of look. Um, very, very clean, creamy under application. However, once they dry, they set, and then that's it. It's good to go. They last. All right, well, that's what I'm wearing. Then the second feature is this uh, Listre. What did I say it was called? Lead Lustre. All right, so I got this color, okay, chiffon. Now, what chiffon? I don't know, it just gave me this idea of a very darker champagne. Um, I guess it's not that darker. But it's not that cool tone, whitey, sparkly. I wanted a little more depth. And I was just iffy because this reminded me a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury iPods. And I may, I own many of them. See here, it's, let's see how it compares. So I have here rose gold, maybe one of them, maybe Jean. No, Jean is going to be lighter. Okay, let me swatch it for you. There, this. And yeah, these are creamier. You see this? More in the white, sort of sparkly, bright, and this is a little more, it looks powdery, so it looks a little more sparkly, not less creamier, I would say. Now, I think they both have, oh, my, <laughs> they have very different uh, applications and very different time for application. And I use Jean quite a bit, the Charlotte Tilbury, mostly for day or when I really want to brighten up my eyes. I think this chiffon, let's apply it to the eye. I think it will bring this very nighttime or very sophisticated sort of look. At least that's why I think. Let's look. Uh, and it's very different than, for example, an eye shade. Especially, I just used this palette, the YSL, and... Uh, and I use a golden, I'll show it to you. I'll actually swatch it next to it. It gives a very different look. They all are in the sparkly sense, but they give different texture, if you know what I mean. Look at that beauty. I really like this little lustre. She has Victoria Beckham, um, several colors. Of course, the YSL is very golden. This is the golden from YSL. This is the Victoria Beckham, the one we're trying, and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Jean. What I want you to see is the different textures. So this one reminds me more of a disco ball, but it's not like a Pat McGrath uh, where you feel this, this purples in your eye. Look at that. It does apply as if it was a cream, and it feels like a cream but it dries out with a tiny little bit look of powder, sort of if it was a, 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 an eye shadow shade, if you know what I mean. So again, it gives very different looks. Uh, so it depends on what you want, what you want it for. Now, this color seems, and I think this is all through Victoria Beckham line. She looks, let me, <laughs> Let me apply it with the right finger because I don't want to mix <laughs> the other eye. She really likes this sophistication sort of elegance that is sort of like there, but not there. Like you're trying, but not trying, which I love that look. The only reason I don't own her whole line, like all of the lustre, which seems like I'm heading that way, <laughs> is because Victoria Beckham, I don't know if you've seen her, she has a little more olive tone, medium tone skin. And it seems like most of the colors she came out first were very, very awesome for that kind of coloring. She didn't have many colors that I thought complemented my coloring. And by that I mean she had a lot of nudes in the lipsticks, the colors were very faded away. And so those kind of colors, yeah, they look great on me, but um, they don't do anything, really. And so then she started adding, like she started adding some bold lipsticks, like, you know, like red and orange. 
And so that is working a little better with me. And so I've been adding. I did buy a lot of the original colors, but that's how I know they didn't work. But all the new things that she's adding, uh, I guess she is keeping my coloring in mind. For example, the eyeliner, this fig, <laughs> perfection. This ones, I think they are really for everybody. I mean, they'll look uh, great and different according to your coloring. But look, ramp up, sophistication, but natural, but not over the top, but very nonchalant, but still kind of, you know, and, and she does this in her videos, you know, she, and, um, yeah, I do too, but you know, <laughs> um, but what she does now I'm looking for fig again. Oh uh, yeah, here. So she does this thing, uh, elongating the eyeliner. My eye shape is not the best for that. You know, like when you really elongate, uh, the eyeliner to look like, ooh, like the almond elongates, and then you look more mysterious. I mean, sure, we can work with it and I can do it and stuff, but I don't think it really creates that sort of look at my age, maybe because of the hoodiness, maybe because my eye is very much wider here. It doesn't go almond, sort of. So why even try, right? Um, yes, there's times that I have tried them and there's times that uh, makeup artists have tried them on me, but it's not the best. It's not the best, it doesn't work. You know, you have to sometimes say, okay, fine, I'll make my own trend, <laughs> right? Because, you know, if not, what are you gonna do? But going back to this, I think it does the job, I think it's lovely. I think it really brings this sophistication I was looking for. So really, I really just want all of them. <laughs> but I'm gonna pace myself. Um, this reminds me like Chantikai, you know, those, uh, I don't know if I have here one or two. Let me see if I have here the uh, cheetah. Okay, good. You remember this ones? Uh, this one might be very close as well. Yeah, see? So let's see, cause this one, yeah, very close. This is a little more silkier. Okay, it's this one. Silkier, obviously lighter. It reminds me more of Jean, this one. Although this is more mirror reflective, you saw. This one is a little more subtle, but the texture reminds me of it. But this one goes very smoother and silkier. You can see it, you see a lot more texture on this. So it's a little more disco. So you get the grips. They all are similar. They all will do sort of the same thing, but they're not the same. <laughs> So to me, it's really for those of us that love makeup and love all the different textures and it makes a difference. It's also for those that change their mood, you know, what texture and what exact look I feel like. Look at that. All right, so you get my grip. Last, we're gonna do the gloss. By the way, the lipstick I'm wearing, it's a little cheat cheat because it is the Roche Allure, the new color from Chanel. I'm wearing 211. So this is 211. Uh, I haven't done the video featuring it. So shh, won't say anything, but there you have it. Now we're gonna remove this. I was gonna wipe it out with my dirty uh, little wipey there. But since I'm gonna keep this on camera because it's very easy to clean, uh, I'm gonna use a clean one. <laughs> All right, so. We are taking this lipstick off, which is really a shame because I really like it. Maybe not with this shirt that I chose because this shirt uh, is so bright. I either go with ball lipstick or with more nude. And since I'm doing a lot with my eyes, I would go with more nude, yeah. But uh, I had it on. Okay, so where is this gloss? Okay, of course, be so, okay, here it is, cherry. I'm very curious, I never tried it. So the first thing, these are huge, huge. I mean, they're not tiny little, you know, compared to, okay, Westman Atelier Gloss, B2, 
Victoria Beckham, right? These are not her glasses. She has a different one for glasses. These are called lip, um, bitten lip tint, which is supposed to be lighter and it gives a little bit of color. But this is a Rowan gloss. So this one is on the thick side and Rowan's are thick already. I mean, um, Pat McGrath. Um, Pat McGrath is a little thicker, huh, surprising, but it's still shorter. Of course, uh, Charlotte Tilbury, ha ha ha. Okay, not even comparison. But what I mean, this is heavy. This is substantial. So I don't like that to carry on my purse, to tell you the truth. I prefer small and practical, but it definitely exudes elegance. So there you have it. I mean, given that she does have this small and tiny in her eye, uh, eyeshadow breaks are very tiny and small. I don't get why this has to be the biggest of everything, right? It, makes, it doesn't make sense, but all right, whatever. So I do love her lip liners. I'm not gonna use a lip liner because I just wanna try this, but that's another of my favorites. All right, so I'm gonna swatch this so then we compare it with the Zoo. That's Cherry. Again, towards the darker side. You see, look at her eyeliner. So she tends to that black undertone. I mean, probably that's not even correct, black undertone. But that's what it reminds me of. She has this sort of gothic thing underneath. Um, yes, I'm into you. Mm -hmm. All right. Aha. This is supposed to be cherry. Um, I mean, I guess it's a rest from everything that is very bright and kind of open in coloring. I like it. I'm just thinking, and I review it recently, what well, were they? These very swirl colors with those? No, they were not Sisley. What well, were they? I actually... But two, and where are they? Very glossy. These are reminding me of those. If I remember, I'll link it down below. I won't put the words on the video because I will be too much editing, but I like this color. Mm-hmm. Maybe not necessarily with the eye look, but with a little more uh, coloring on my cheeks. I do have, do I have some blush from her? Uh, I do, I have two, I, th I think I have one blush from her. Yeah, only one. This is Roller Skates. I love this color. I love, 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 and I do use it quite a bit, but that's not exactly what we're, I was thinking for this. What if I use a little bit, this is Pout. This is her lipstick. Uh, maybe right let's just add a little bit i'm just looking because the the lip beaten tint has a little bit of pink to it i mean it's cherry but it has a little bit i'm just this is a lipstick but <laughs> i'm just looking for a little bit of tone anything with a little bit of pink because what i'm wearing has a lot of peach so the berry starts going right what do you guys think? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the palette, see if I can get anything with pink, but I don't, I only have peach. We don't want more peach uh, for this. All right, well, you see it. This, love. Now, if you just wanted to see how the other one, Bison, let me just swatch it right here next to it. I mean, if, see again, towards the black. Now, I have to admit, look at this and look at the fig. It does have that purplish dark, right? So, I like it. If I was not wearing the peach blush and stuff, maybe this with the fig will look awesome. Let's try it. Maybe it'll make the look together. I like this. I like this. I'm sorry for my hair. Now it's looking like an old lady all the time instead of my punky, 
hair. I need to go and do something about it. All right, beauty channel. <laughs> um, so where were we? We were gonna remove what I have on and try the bison. I didn't wanna remove this, it looked great, I thought, but for the sake of showing the Victoria Beckham all right, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Don't prolong this, Claudia. Okay, be soft. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh huh. A little gothic underground. I think it's a gothic, it's a hidden gothic trend. I mean, gothic looks nice, that little mystery. All right, well, this one is supposed to have a little more berry, purplish. You see that? I don't know, which one you like best? I don't dislike it, especially with all the orange going on, that just kind of breaks it, but it is berry, so it really doesn't go with everything else. But okay, you get my grapes. But I got it, I like it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm even, Considering, I mean, we should end the video right now, but I'm just curious. Uh, putting a little bit of this orange terracotta, maybe it will not do. But that goes in this other row, this one. I know it goes against everything because I'm wearing very neutral colors on the top. But because my shirt is this orange, I thought this will match, bring it together, and then because this is dark enough, will break the spell. Yeah. What do you guys think? See, just adding a little bit of orange. That's all I did. I think this will bring it together for sure. And since we have the fig on the eyeliner with the this little color, mm -hmm. all right, there you have it. I think I still like the cherry better with this look, but I think I'm very proud of myself that this works. Hmm. All right. So hope you like this. I hope I went through everything. I'm trying to remember. Please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, please ring the bell on the right hand corner and please comment down below. What do you guys think? Eyeliner, everything. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.